Bonjour, my name is David DeVere. I'm a wine educator and traveler, and you're watching Savvy Nomad TV, the Eau de Vie edition. This is episode three of How to Pick a Wine. Today, we're gonna to go to Costco and we're gonna shop for Chardonnay. Let's go. As you can see, it's winter here in Minnesota. It's uh, February, in the middle of. Okay, let's go for a drive. The roads here in northern Minnesota are notoriously bumpy, so we'll get to see how the camera does on holding still. I'm holding the camera in my hand, obviously. I'm watching where I'm going and uh, just driving on my city street. Oh, it's one of the joys of living in a cold place in the wintertime. It's bumpy. Okay, so I'm at a red light, so I can talk for a minute here. Um, when I'm going to go look for a wine, I actually pay a lot of attention to the label. A lot of people say, oh, I buy wine by the label. But, you know, what else are you supposed to do? The label is what's on the bottle. You should actually buy the wine based on the label. Now, if you're buying it just based on the label art, then maybe you are missing something. I'm at another stoplight. Uh, they do st this stuff like this in the winter here. So see, they've got the intersection blocked off and they've got a front end loader at the turn angle and uh, they're moving the snow banks back because, well, February is not our snowiest month. April is our snowiest month. Okay, green light, go. Okay, I made it to Costco. Let's go see what kind of wines they got. Now, I'm looking for two different styles of Chardonnay. I want an oaked Chardonnay and I want a non-oaked Chardonnay. Let's see what they've got inside. Okay, here's an example of a Chardonnay that's going to be oaked and it's going to tell you right here on the label, toasty oak. That means this is going to be a big buttery Chardonnay. You can tell by the bottle shape too. It's a Burgundian style bottle. Again, here's another one, the Prisoner. 28 bucks and it says full body rich in the palate flavors pineapple toasted oak so now we know an oaked chardonnay stags leap right over here again minerality on the palate that could be a non-oaked one turn it around it says kiss of oak so now we know it's an oaked chardonnay okay so here's another one this one's 40 bucks from sonoma it's california it doesn't say anything about oak on it and it's right next to the premier cru chablis from france now we know chablis is uh non-oaked because that's the style they do there that's the thing about learning about french wine if you learn what they do it'll be understandable well, here we are over here in the bulk Chardonnays. Now this one's $6.99, rich palette. Doesn't say multi-dimensional. If you look at the back of the label, and it says spice and subtle oak maturation. Okay, so there you go, oak. That's what we're looking for if you want to try to find the style. This one shows Spice and oak. This one, $9.99, morning fog, finishing with nice acidity. There it is, pear and toasty oak. Moving right along, $8.99, Dry Creek Valley, toasted oak, butter. This one is called butter, vanilla finish, the leaves you want anymore. But of course, it's gonna be blend of oak. And then this one, $14.99, there you go, more oak from La Crema and it even says vibrant concentrated juice acidity with a lingering finish Meyer lemon hints of oak okay 
Okay, this will be our California one, Ray Bomb, Russian River Chardonnay 2019, oaked example. And then over here, you've got the Joseph Druffon, very good example of uh, Premier Cru Chardonnay uh, from Chablis. Chardonnay is the grape, Chablis is the region in France, but next to that, the Kirkland Signature one for 1779. That's a much better deal. We'll get that one. Okay, I'm back with my two Chardonnays. I got the Kirkland Chablis Premier Cru. This is a unoaked Chardonnay made in a stainless steel tank. Uh, Chablis is the name of the region in France that is grown. France names all of their wines after where they're grown rather than the grape that's in the bottle. So Chablis Premier Cru 2019, 1779. And then I have the Rayburn Russian River Valley Chardonnay 2019, 1469. And this is an oaked one as I showed you how to read the label. The reason you're looking for oak or non-oak is because the oak is going to give you specific taste characteristics. And we're going to taste those next week when we do the tasting of these. These are the two main styles of Chardonnay. An oaked Chardonnay or a non-oaked Chardonnay. They make oaked Chardonnays all over France and you they're the, probably the most common, but there is also this other way of making it without the influence of an oak barrel. The Australians also do this, but sometimes they use the word tree-free on it. Very cleverly, almost eco-minded Australian way. Anyhow, those are our two wines. We're going to taste those next week in the tasting. I'll go through the grape the regions, what Premier Crew means, and why it matters for you. How do you pair either one of these styles of Chardonnay with whatever you want to have? All right, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this, please consider subscribing. I'll be coming out with shopping and tasting videos alternating every week. So there we are. Uh, and until next week, I say a tutelaire and cheers.